with his illusion last time he performed. But now can he step it up? Give it up for mentalist Oz Perlman. Once you get on that stage live, all the practice in the world doesn't matter because you're in the moment. One of my other passions, aside from mind reading, is being an ultra marathon runner. This is running up to 153 miles. Running an ultra marathon pushes you beyond your body's physical limits. Not only that, your mental limits. When I'm getting ready to race, that is the moment of absolute focus. That's when everything else melts away and all I see is that goal, is that finish line. You have to find that goal that you give up everything to achieve. And that's the same thing that happens when I'm on stage. In the semifinals of America's Got Talent, it's all about what do you have left. I'm two performances away from a million dollars. I can almost see the finish line and I want it so bad. The summer is almost over and I don't want the party to end. Judges, you work too hard. We Let's do. loosen things up a bit. I brought drinks. Howard, Heidi, please join me on stage. What did AGT put on the menu for us tonight? We've got some water. We've got a little bit of beer, Howard. We Ooh. have some cola. And Heidi, if you would, I'm gonna stop you right there. And Howard, come join me some cola. Cola. OJ and... I don't drink cola, but I will for you. I do whatever. A little bit of vino, my friend. I'll drink a little vino. Let's do it. Well, don't tell me what you're gonna drink. Surprise me, Howard. Okay. Look at him watching, licking his lips. I like this already. I didn't lick my lips. Why do I not get to do that? We're getting there, we're getting there. Heidi, you are going to become the perfect blindfold. Come on around behind me. Hold out your hands and put them firmly into my eyes. That's I, how Mel got her infection. How's that? <laughs> I lead a rough life, I know. Howard, yes. my plan here is to not only read your mind, but actually anticipate your thoughts and tastes. Howard, look down at your options and be in the moment, impulsive. Pick up any one of those cups, bring it up to your lips and take a sip. Don't take the whole thing down, just a sip for me, Howard. And then put down the water. I like how you're staying hydrated. I like that, that's very smart. <laughs> I mean, you, you stay in parts, it's a hot day. Howard, any cup, any cup, pick one up, take a little sip, take a swig of it. Yeah, and don't go too much on the wine. You gotta judge other acts tonight, Howard. I mean, come on. <laughs> Howard, let's do it, quick, quick. Any cup, any cup, bring it up, take a sip. Okay, and, and put that down, because the cola, he said he didn't want to drink, so he decided to reverse psychology. How am I doing, Radio City Music? <laughs> but wait. I'm cold. You seem amazed, but they're skeptics. I can read your minds. Somebody's saying, someone must be telling me what he's drinking. Heidi, check my ears. Come on over here. I just cleaned them. Any ear pieces? Maybe a little waxy, a little A little hairy. wax. Bite your tongue. Anything here? Is there somebody nope. talking to me? Nope. Cover me up. Blindfold me. Life is good. Howard. America's judge, the voice of honesty. We all know that nobody tells Howard Stern what to do or which drink to have. So this is it, Howard. Do or die, moment of truth, pick up any cup, go. Have a sip. Put that down, pick up any cup you want, have a sip. Okay, pick that up, Another, any other cup, and have a sip of one last cup. Howard, here's what you would have done. You would have started with the orange juice. You would have gone back to the wine and ended on the cola. How did I do, Howard Stern? 100%, 100%. You're a wizard. Now wait, I see my other judges. How he's looking at me like, what am I, chopped liver? Where's my drink? Mel, yes. how about this? Let's visualize the moment. You're off work. The eye is healed, life is good. Yes. You're at the beach, you're at the pool, do me a favor. Picture right next to you is just the perfect drink. It's gonna hit the spot at this moment. Bring it up to your lips, close your eyes. I won't be able to tell, but I'll know. And take a sip, take a sip. Go ahead, go ahead. Keep your eyes closed. Wow, she's going to town, okay. Stay right there, close your eyes, taste it. Interesting. You are enjoying your time off work. One more sip. There was something more, there was something more. Howard, Heidi. Please, keep me honest here. Can you see what I wrote down? Yeah. Yes. 
Mel, talk to me. What drink is in your mind? What are you tasting at this very moment? What is that that's just going to hit the spot? Oh, I want it so bad, What too. is it? It's straight-up vodka, two olives, and a splash of dirty. So what I've heard that is called is a, a extra dirty vodka martini? <laughs> I have no idea. Howie, Howie, Howie. What? You licked your lips. You're, you're tasting something else. Just really quick, why am I getting hints of fruit? You in your head, <laughs> something with strawberries and bananas? Is that sounding about right as yeah. well? Yeah. And then you were also thinking a little chocolate to mix it up. Yes. How do you know? How Thank you very you much, know? Howard. Wow. Thank wow. you, Heidi. You were wonderful. Wow. You're a dirty wizard. Dirty I wizard. Uh, I swear to you. I don't know how. O's Pearlman. The dirty wizard. We are in the ozone. It's the ozone, baby. Mel B, how'd he guess your drink? Dang, I mean, that's actually quite freaky that you can actually do what you do so specific like that. I'm mind boggled. Every time I see you, I think to myself, how do you do it? I want to do it. But I don't, but how do you do it? I'd make a great waiter. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, and everything else, you know what I mean? That's amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Mr. Mandel. I was amazed when you showed us the ability to read our minds. I swear to you, you bowled me over. Tonight, you showed us you have the ability to read our tongues. I find that amazing. Taste, because right. you knew what we were tasting. Oh, you see what I did know. there? Yeah. I feel very alone and awkward right now. I'll Move on too. to another judge. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Heidi, you were up here. Uh, could you see how he did it? Or no, you... and you are the kind of act that on the next day, people always come to me and they're like, how does O's do it? Are you in on this? You have to be in on this. And I swear, we never are. We don't know anything. And I'm sure this is going to happen again tomorrow. People are going to be like, how did he do this? How did he do this? Except for you, because you're going to be a little drunk, because I saw you had too much... Vino and beer. Little shickered. No, it is incredible. It is line. incredible what you do, and it's always different, and I really enjoy it. You know, you know what was really incredible about that? That disgusting drink Mel drinks. No wonder she has an eye infection. Oh, <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Listen, good. O's, you come out every time. You give it your all. You're fantastic. We are so entertained by you. This is kind of the season of the magician, isn't it? It's going to be some final. I say vote for Oz yes. or O's. It's O's. O's. In the O zone. Good luck tonight. Awesome job. So, do you want to see O's in the finals? Then you got to pick up the phone, get online.